Hello, I'm Willie from the Ozarks, and we're ready for our April the 21st lesson in A Course in Miracles workbook for students from the original edition, Lesson 111. Miracles are seen in light. Miracles are seen in light. And light and strength are one. For morning and evening review, Miracles are seen in light. I cannot see in darkness. Let the light of holiness and truth light up my mind and let me see the innocence within. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. I see through strength the gift of God to me. My weakness is the dark his gift dispels by giving me his strength to take its place. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Okay, well, before we really uh, read the entirety of that lesson, which that's almost the entirety of it, let us go back and look at the review preface for review three, which we're ready for. Our third review begins today. We will review two of the last 20 ideas each day until we have reviewed them all. We will we'll observe a special format for these practice periods, which you are urged to follow just as closely as you can. We understand, of course, that it may be impossible for you to undertake what is suggested here as optimal each day and every hour of the day. Okay. <laughs> He says you don't have to do it perfect, but here's what we would put out as an optimal. Learning will not be hampered when you miss a practice period because it is impossible at the appointed time. He's going to continue. He's going to tell us what's optimal in just a minute. Learning will not be hampered when you miss a practice period because it is impossible at the appointed time. Nor is it necessary that you make excessive effort to be sure that you catch up in terms of numbers. You can put a little effort in it, but not excessive, he says. Rituals are not our aim and would defeat our goal. Rituals are not our aim and would defeat our goal. He wants, we're finding what's real. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Well, ritual is not what we're trying to get in the Course in Miracles. We're trying to be authentic, real, okay? By learning, but learning will be hampered when you skip a practice period because you are unwilling to devote the time to it, which you are asked to give. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> Do not deceive yourself in this. Unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations you cannot control. Learn to distinguish situations which are poorly suited to your practicing from those which you establish to uphold a camouflage for your unwillingness. Oh, I've got so many things to do, but really, you're just unwilling to do what's asked and you're valuing the world and its trinkets more than your awakening in God. Those practice periods, when you think of it that way, it's like, okay, I better awaken God. What else is more important? <laughs> I mean, that's where our joy's at anyway, so... We're, we're wanting the peace, our, our personal peace, our personal joy, and the, which will include the whole world. We want the world to be at peace in every way. And it starts with us. And trip, and, and, and uh, you know, and then as, as we see ourselves peaceful, we see a peaceful world. And that we extend that peacefulness because that's what, that's what the nature of God's all about. Love is, it just goes on extending itself. Those practice periods which you have lost because you did not want to do them for whatever reason should be done as soon as you have changed your mind about your goal. <laughs> Makes sense? You are unwilling to cooperate in practicing salvation only if it interferes with goals you hold more dear. When you withdraw the value given them, allow your practice periods to be replacements for your litanies to them. They gave you nothing, but your practicing can offer everything to you. And so, 
accept its offering and be at peace. Your practicing can offer everything to you. And so accept its offerings and be at peace. The format you should use for these reviews is this. Devote five minutes twice a day or longer, if you would prefer, to considering the thoughts that are assigned. Five minutes almost seems too short for me. But he said, but, you know, at least five minutes. You know, a lot of times I, I like to think I'm going to meditate for 20 minutes, let's say. But I'm, I'm not willing to stop for that long. But I would have, if I just said five minutes, I would have done it. I would have stopped and said, okay, I can surely take five minutes for, for God. Uh, your practicing can offer everything to you. And so accept its offering and be at peace. Well, I could do that if I was saying, well, just five minutes of, of in the morning and five minutes in the evening or five minutes in the, uh, just a little short period. But you can take longer if you wish, he says. So the format you should use for these reviews is this. Devote five minutes twice a day or longer if you would prefer to considering the thoughts that are assigned. Read over the ideas. I mean, of course, we know what they are today. It's miracles are seen in light. It's uh, re be review 100, uh, probably 101. And then um, review lesson 102, the next lesson, whatever number it is is the second review for review today, and that's miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. The format you should use for these reviews is this, devote five minutes twice a day or longer if you would prefer to considering the thoughts that are assigned, read over the ideas and comments which are written first in each day's exercise, and then begin to think about them while letting your mind relate them to your needs, your seeming problems, and all your concerns. Wow, let the mind do that after you've read them and kind of thought about it. Just a moment, then just rest in it. Place the ideas within your mind and let it use them as it chooses. Give it faith that it will use them wisely. Give your mind faith that it will use these ideas wisely without you trying to control everything. Being helped in its decision by the one who gave the thoughts to you. In other words, Holy Spirit's going to help your mind to think about what it needs. What can you trust but what is in your mind? Have faith in these reviews. The means the Holy Spirit uses will not fail. The wisdom of your mind will come to your assistance. Give direction at the start and then lean back in quiet faith and let the mind employ the thoughts you gave as they were given you for it to use. Wow. You have been given them in perfect trust and perfect confidence that you would use them well and perfect faith that you would see their messages and use them for yourself. Offer them to your mind in the same trust and confidence and faith. It will not fail. It is the Holy Spirit's chosen means for your salvation. Since it has his trust, his means must surely merit yours as well. <laughs> Paragraph 8 I'm on. We emphasize the benefits to you if you devote the first five minutes of the day to your review and also give the last five minutes of your waking day to it. If this cannot be done, at least try to divide them so you undertake one in the morning and the other in the hour just before you go to sleep. Okay, that's okay. So the hour right before you go to sleep, take five minutes. And... Uh, or if, if op optimal, five minutes right before you go to sleep. But, but either one, he's, he's okay with that. And if, if right when you first wake up for five minutes or at some time early in, in the morning, he says, um, take five minutes. So he, they, so he's, we want two long extended periods, which are five minutes, but just twice a day now. Or, or let's see what else he says. Um... Uh, we emphasize the benefits to you if you devote the first five minutes of the day to your view and also give the last five minutes of your waking day to it, the benefits to you to do that. If this cannot be done, at least try to divide them so you undertake one in the morning and the other in the hour just before you go to sleep. The exercises to be done throughout the day are equally important and perhaps of even greater value. You have been inclined to practice only at appointed times and then go on your way to other things without applying what you learned to them. 
As a result, you have gained little reinforcement and have not given it the opportunity to prove how great are its potential gifts to you. Here is another chance to use it well. In these reviews, we stress the need to let your learning not lie idly by between your longer practice periods. Or okay, he wants us to be thinking about these ideas throughout the day. And he's going to give us a kind of a way to help us to do that. Attempt to give your daily two ideas a brief but serious review each hour. So each hour of the day, we've all been practicing, trying to bring the thoughts to mind at least every hour of the day. But now he's not saying we have to spend five minutes, though you can. But you, you, what he's saying is he wants you to just reinforce for a moment the idea of the morning and, and then the, the idea of the evening. It's what he said. What, how do I say it? Here's another chance to use it well. In these reviews, we stress the need to let your learning not lie idly by between your longer practice periods. Attempt to give your daily two ideas a brief but serious review each hour. So he's wanting us to basically read them in the morning, see both ideas, and then think about both of them throughout the day each hour. Uh, use one on the hour and the other on the half hour later, a half hour later. You need not give more than just a moment to each one, okay? So just a moment, but think about your, 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 your meditation of the morning and, uh, and, and bring that throughout the day, okay? And repeat it and allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. Repeat it and allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. And for today, what I did, I went ahead and wrote the whole thing down. I mean, I wrote the, the italicized part underneath the, uh, it, it, it's backwards on, my, on your, because I'm using my, uh, my camera, you know, the selfie side. So it would be backwards. So I don't necessarily try to show you anything in print. But the point I'm trying to make is if you'll write just, I am, I, uh, uh, what is it? Miracles are seen in light. I went ahead and wrote the other part too as kind of a meditation in the writing of it. And then I had it throughout the day that I can pull out. Because I'll be using this for the, you know, we'll be doing this format for the next uh, 10 days. Repeat it and allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. Then turn to other things, but try to keep the thought with you and let it serve to help you keep your peace throughout the day as well. If you are shaken, think of it again. If your peace is shaken a little, think of your idea. These practice periods are planned to help you form the habit of applying what you learn each day to everything you do. <laughs> Isn't that neat to know? Do not repeat it and then lay it down. Its usefulness is limitless to you. <laughs> do not repeat it and then lay it down. Its usefulness is limitless to you. And it is meant to serve you in all ways, all times and places, whenever you need help of any kind. Try then to take it with you in the business of the day and make it holy, worthy of God's Son, acceptable to God and to yourself. Each day's review assignment will conclude with a restatement of the thought to use each hour and the one to be applied on each half hour as well. Forget them not. The second chance with each of these ideas will bring such large advances that we come from these reviews with learning gains so great that we begin again on solid ground with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith. Do not forget how little you have learned. Do not forget how much you can learn now. <laughs> Do not forget your father's need of you as you review these thoughts he gave to you. What a beautiful little last uh, paragraph. Let's read it again, those three sentences. Do not forget how little you have learned. Do not forget how much you can learn now. Do not forget your father's need of you as you review these thoughts he gave to you. All right, and for today, morning and evening review, miracles are seen in light. I cannot see in darkness. Let the light of holiness and truth light up my mind and let me see the innocence within. And lesson, it was actually lesson 91 and 92. 92 is miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. I see through strength the gift of God to me. My weakness is the dark his gift dispels by giving me his strength to take its place. On the hour, say miracles are seen in light. And on the half hour, just say miracles are seen in light 
and light and strength are one. This morning I wrote the whole thing down, and, and you know he's not suggesting to even do that. It just miracles are seen in light, and miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one is all he's telling you to really think about. I just wanted to think about the rest of it too. You don't, that's not required. Don't ever add too much to this. Just kind of do it the way he says it. Cause you start adding too much to it and you might end up not, not actually uh, uh, doing what he said because it becomes too cumbersome. So just let's make it as easy as you can on yourself. I guess what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, hey, we're taking a lot of time and I want to go read the last part of um, uh, chapter 17, Forgiveness and Healing in the text. Uh, in the section Shadows of the Past, section 4, we're ready for paragraph 22. And I want to start in paragraph 21. While you're turning there, let me tell you about Bloomsdale spinach, which I'll talk more about it later, but we planted some today right here behind me in these rows. I just took, um, and I'll tell you more later about how I did it because uh, I don't want to take too much time today, but I, I would like to, because we had a lot to read with the review. Spinachia, um, Alleracea, which is, and this is Bloomsdale spinach, is what I planted, producing vigorous upright plants with dark green glossy savoy leaves. This variety is very tender with an excellent flavor. Plants grow to 10 inches with two to three inch long leaves, a quick growing variety that produces heavy yields. Bloomsdale is ideal for late spring or summer plantings. It is also slow to bolt. Developed in 1874 by Dr. or D. Landreth and Son Seed Company of Philadelphia, and it's a 49 to 60 day, 40, 39 to 60 day. So I guess if you got it as early as 39 days. So 39 days from now, maybe I'll have a little spinach deep from this planting. We'll talk more about how I planted it later. Let's get our reading done today, though. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Keep that ever in your mind through the day. Okay, uh, paragraph 21. The Holy Spirit wills only to make his resolution complete and perfect, and so he seeks and finds the source of problems where it is and there undoes it. And with each step in his undoing is the separation more and more undone and union brought closer. He is not at all confused by any reasons for separation. Reasons is in quotes, because like I said yesterday, there are no reasons for being separated from the oneness of God. That's where all joy and peace is. All he perceives in separation is that it must be undone. <laughs> Let him uncover the hidden spark of beauty in your relationships, relationships and show it to you. Let the Holy Spirit uncover the hidden spark of beauty in your relationships and show it to you. Its loveliness will so attract you that you will be unwilling ever to lose the sight of it again. And you will let it transform the relationship so you can see it more and more. For you will want it more and more and become increasingly unwilling to let it be hidden from you. And you will learn to seek for and establish conditions in which this beauty can be seen. Wow, isn't that a beautiful thought? Next paragraph. All this you will do gladly if you but let him hold the spark before you to light your way and make it clear to you. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. All this you will do gladly if you but let him hold the spark before you to light your way and make it clear to you. Miracles are seen in light. God's Son is one, whom God has joined as one the ego cannot break apart. The spark of holiness must be safe, however hidden it may be, in every relationship. For the creator of the one relationship has left no part of it without himself. God is in everything and everywhere always, never can be taken from it. So that's the relationship you have with God in your brothers and sisters is the real relationship that lasts forever and is going on now and can never be taken away. This is the only part of the relationship the Holy Spirit sees because he knows that only this is true. You have made the relationship unreal and therefore unholy by seeing it where it is not and as it is not. Give the past to him who can change your mind about it for you, but first be sure you fully realize that you have made the past 
to represent and why. Okay, but first be sure you fully realize what you have made the past to represent and why. Okay, wow, he wants us to give it to the Holy Spirit. He says, give the past to the Holy Spirit, him who can change your mind about it for you. But first be sure you fully realize what you have made the past to represent and why. In brief, well, he's going to give us a hint. <laughs> that was something to look for in our minds. In brief, the past is now your justification for entering in to a continuing unholy alliance with the ego against the present. For the present is forgiveness. For the present is forgiveness. For the present is forgiveness. Boy, don't forget that one. Therefore, the relationships which the unholy alliance dictates are not perceived nor felt as now. Yet the frame of reference to which the present is referred for meaning is an illusion of the past in which those elements which fit the purpose of the unholy alliance are retained and all the rest let go. And what is thus let go is all the truth the past could ever offer to the present as witnesses for its reality, while what is kept but witnesses to the reality of dreams. Oh my goodness, wouldn't it be nice if we could just take our 30-minute rests every day and say, okay, I'm going to stay in the present. I'm going to let forgiveness light the way. And we use our lesson like today, miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one, are one. So we want to, that's when we bring us back to the present moment where forgiveness is the ruling energy, where we give up anything that's not real because it is not real. We see only God in each of our relationships with everyone. It is still up to you to choose to be willing to join the truth or illusion, but remember that to choose one is to let the other go. Which one you choose you will endow with beauty and reality because the choice depends on which you value more the spark of beauty or the veil of ugliness, the real world or the world of guilt and fear, truth or illusion, freedom or slavery. Wow, it is all the same, for you can never choose except between God and the ego. Thought systems are but true or false, and all their attributes come simply from what they are, either true or false, real or unreal. Only the thoughts of God are true. And all that follows from them comes from what they are and is as true as is the holy source from which they came. In the last paragraph, 26. My holy brothers, I would enter into all your relationships and step between you and your fantasies. Well, thank you, Jesus. I invite you. Thank you. Come help me. Let my relationship to you be real to you and let me bring reality to your perception of your brothers. Let's, let's listen to that again. Think about just Jesus. I think about him coming, putting his hand on my shoulder and saying, Will, I got something to tell you, my brother. I would enter into all your relationships and step between you and your fantasies. Let my relationship to you be real to you. And let me bring reality to your perception of your brothers. They, are not, they were not created to enable you to hurt yourselves through them. They were created to create with you. This is the truth that I would interpose between you and your goal of madness. Be not separate from me and let not the holy purpose of atonement be lost to you in dreams of vengeance. Relationships in which such dreams are cherished have excluded me. Let me enter in the name of God and bring you peace that you may offer peace to me. <laughs> Read that next par that last paragraph one more time if you would. Uh, if you're if you're trying to, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, to, I'm I'm encouraging you to read it all over. But that last paragraph is just loaded. My holy brothers, Jesus talking to us about listening to him. Until them, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Until tomorrow, miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Thank you so much for joining with me. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one.